Hey there, Steve here, and welcome to another episode of Steal This Core Progression, where I teach you a core progression and show you a few useful ways you can use it. And today we are in D, A, E, A, C sharp E tuning. And this is probably my favorite alternative tuning. You can hear it here. It sounds very wonderful, very magical. I've got a capo on the fifth fret, and the chords that you'll see in this video are available to patrons. There's a link for that down below in the description. Alright, so here are the chords for this progression. This is a 2 1 6 5 progression. And here we're in the key of D major. So here I'm playing through the progression again. I'm just going to add an extra chord to the progression at this C major over D major. And we can also have this G major 9 in some of the examples. So for this first example, it's what I was playing in intro. To me, this works really well as probably like an interlude section in a song. I wanted to mention as well that the chord names, I wouldn't really worry about them too much, more about how they sound and what their function is here in the progression to give a 2165 feel overall. So here I've added some overdrive, and I feel like this section could become, come after the previous section, or it could be a standalone section. To round off this progression, I'm going to add some variation by throwing in that borrowed chord. So you can hear that these chords sound fine with a bit of light gain applied. However, when we put more overdrive on them, they get quite mushy. So there's a reason why I made the shapes this way, because it provides us with some basically like power chords that we can use. So in the last example, I'm going to strum these chords with like higher gain, and then I'm going to play some melody in between. And here, I'm just outlining the melody that I want to use, so the notes that I'm going to end my riffs on. And this was the resulting idea. 